Tonight on News 22, the Pan American Center could be seeing bigger and better performers due to a recent ranking. NMSU ROTC celebrated the annual President Pass in Review this afternoon. And the city's new pet ordinance is intended to reduce overpopulation. News 22 starts now. Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. Tonight on News 22, the deadline is looming to file your income tax return. Texting isn't the only way to be a distracted driver. And Governor Martinez is winning the money-raising battle. News 22 starts now. Tonight on News 22, we have the results of yesterday's Las Cruces Public Schools bond vote. A new text message service in New Mexico gives guides to teens and their parents in the subject of sex. And CBS Drug Stores is pulling a popular item from their stores that many people just started using. News 22 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Annalisa Carrion. And I'm Tobias Rodriguez. Protests over the weekend in Albuquerque are getting national attention. Hundreds of rioters gathered in downtown Albuquerque to protest the police department. Two weeks ago, James Boyd, a 38-year-old homeless man, was shot and killed by police. That incident brought attention to the number of people that have been shot by police in Albuquerque. Good evening, everyone. I'm Annalisa Carrion. And I'm Zach Rael. Today is tax day, the final day to file your income taxes. So if you completely ignored them or forgot to request an extension, you could face penalties. And many people do wait until the last day to turn them into the IRS. News 22's Veronica Baca is live in the studio to tell us what happens to people who wait until the last minute. Thanks, Annalisa and Zach. You only have about three hours to file your federal and state taxes. A Jackson Hewitt tax advisor says if you owe the government, you must pay now. And the trial began yesterday for the woman who was accused of running over her boyfriend last summer. News 22 Stephanie Chavez is live in the studio to tell us how the first days of her trial have gone. Zach, Veronica, the woman accused of running over and killing her boyfriend was back in court today. Annette Fushini listened to her best friend tell the story of what happened that evening. Plenty of recommendations for water reform were discussed at the Water Town Hall in Albuquerque this week. Hundreds of New Mexico officials, business leaders, and others attended the two-day meeting on April 15th and 16th. The meeting focused on many different kinds of water-related issues around the state, including plans for future shortages. Other topics discussed included addressing legal issues and protecting environmental resources. Some strategies identified were to improve funding process for water investments. Nearly three dozen Sereno gang members are locked up after a Homeland Security gang sweep in Albuquerque and Santa Fe. 34 people were taken into custody as part of a national sting called Project Southbound. The investigations were aimed at arresting Sereno members linked to criminal activities. The month-long sting began in March, and the agency says the Sereños are one of many street gangs linked to the drug cartels. If you haven't signed up for health insurance under the Affordable Care Act, you might still be in luck. The deadline passed at the end of March. However, the Obama administration is giving more time to people who indicated they tried signing up before the deadline. Workers with Doniana County Animal Control, Codes Enforcement, Planning and Zoning, and Vector Control will split up into teams and go door to door, offering education on weed control, pest control, animal ordinances, and other issues. Everybody likes to live in a clean community. Uh, it's just oftentimes people don't know um, how to how, how to utilize the resources in their community. So this is a way for us to be visible in the community and let people know that there's help available to them. And stay tuned, Tiffany, we'll be back to take a look at your national forecast. And later we'll show you the number one killer of women and who, and you might be surprised. More on that when News 22 continues. Easter is almost here and there are plenty of clever ways to celebrate the holiday. But the New Mexico Department of Public Health is warning you of salmonella from baby chicks. Some people buy baby chicks for Easter, but they come with a risk. The chicks can carry salmonella and still look healthy. Last year, New Mexico had 19 human cases of salmonella related to baby chicks and ducklings. Many of the cases were in young children. A Las Cruces man is facing 20 years in prison for murder involving a car chase. 
Jeremy Martinez chased several men and shot and killed one of them after his car was vandalized back in April 2012. The Las Cruces Sun News says he pleaded guilty in December to second-degree murder and other charges. Las Cruces bus riders won't have to stand in the sun much longer. Two dozen new bus shelters are being constructed as part of a $215,000 project. The project is funded by remaining money from a federal stimulus funds grant from 2010. As school spokesperson Joe Galvan told us yesterday, there is no tax increase. The bottom line is it comes from your property tax. There won't be a tax rate increase if it's approved, and it is going for the Las Cruces school system specifically. Okay. I know rain today and our rain up until today is still 0.00 inches. Later on in the show, I'll have your national.gov forecast, and you don't want to miss it because you want to find out what's going on with the rest of the country. Back to you, Tobias. Thanks, Tiff. While the weather will be chilly this week, but don't let that prevent you from getting your flu shot. The New Mexico Department of Health is urging everyone to get their flu shots this Friday. A new immunization clinic is opening its doors from 11 to 3 Friday. Here we have 0 .37, 0 0.35 inches of rain. And put on some warm clothes and join the Department of Astronomy and the Southern New Mexico Natural History Foundation for a late night lunar eclipse. The event will begin with a short presentation about the moon and eclipses and it will be followed by the viewing of several planets, the moon will begin to enter the deepest part of the Earth's shadow at 11.58 and it will be completely eclipsed by 106. The event will take place at the Tampa Observatory on Monday 14th at 10 p.m. and it will conclude around 2 a.m. in the morning. Now later I'll be back with your national forecast. Back to you at the desk. And that's all for sports tonight. Join us for more sports action tomorrow. Still ahead on News 22, Tiff will be back to take a look at your five-day forecast. But first, this is not your average rodeo, so lasso up. News 22 will be right back. A second man suspected of burglarizing vehicles last week was arrested Monday. That story more in tonight's crime blotter. Two counts of auto burglary, two counts of conspiracy, and two counts larceny. Carbajal's friend was arrested last week on the same charges. The two are suspected of entering several unlocked vehicles and stealing property from them. And Customs and Border Protection seized over 17 pounds of heroin at 5 o'clock Monday morning at the Paso del Norte International Crossing. Officers arrested Herbert Garza of El Paso. The estimated street value of the drugs is over $500,000. With News 22, I'm Bonnie Harris. It wasn't a bird or a plane, but a special five-year-old kid who wowed the crowd at a baseball game on Tuesday. That story and more in tonight's Southwest Minute. Bat Kid threw out the first pitch between the San Francisco Giants and Arizona Diamondbacks. The boy, whose real name is Miles Scott, has leukemia, but it's in remission. An Arizona auction house says it's seen a record number of bidders for guns that may have belonged to a Wild West gunslinger. More than 6,000 people from 49 countries have registered to bid on Wyatt Earp memorabilia. And a strong hailstorm gave drivers in Austin, Texas a loud and bumpy commute this morning. Showers and thunderstorms swept through bringing hail and wind gusts. The hail ranged in size from a penny to a golf ball. Wind gusts reached up to 40 miles per hour. With News 22, I'm Bonnie Harris. Welcome back to News 22, and now that I can talk, let's take a look at tonight's top stories. Two former employees of the city's transportation department are facing charges of forgery and conspiracy. The Doniana County Sheriff's Department has millions taken out of their budget, and applications are now coming for the new doctorate of nursing at NMSU. Let's take a look at our top stories. Tourism in New Mexico is picking up. Federal statistics show about 81 million people visiting national parks and monuments in the state over the past year. The Las Cruces city budget is very tight this fiscal year. We showed you how the city is setting priorities to make sure everything is covered. And veterans in Las Cruces have to take a van to Albuquerque for help from the VA. We introduce you to a woman who is happy to help them. People in New York took to the streets yesterday armed for a battle but it was all in good fun. It was for International Pillow Fight Day. You can see folks really getting into it. The theme for the New York event was superheroes versus villains. Paleontologists unveiled a new dinosaur Wednesday and judging from its name, you've got to see this thing. This is a picture of what scientists have nicknamed the chicken from hell. The discovery was announced in the scientific journal of the Public Library of Science. Be sure to watch tomorrow for more local area news. I'm Zach Rael. I'm Veronica Packer. Good night. Good night, Good night everyone.